Like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How'd I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. <laughs> that was our net. He's coming around too. So he smacked us he so hard, our up. brain just kind of went into auto drive and brought us back here. Did we get the guy? So Henry was already knocked out, but I think this Willie character is the guy who uh, got away. Willie. Well, that's all right because I've got uh, to ask Arnett some questions anyway, like about this one-way ticket to Mexico City, and also this uh, rather nice, lovely watch. And if I can find the direct point of interest here, if I can, it's very small. One. Oh, there ah, we go. I want to look at this nice watch. Yeah. It's an extremely expensive watch. For some reason, I never got the point of really expensive watches. I don't know, they're a talking piece. It's like, look how much I blew on this watch! Yeah, and you get a really nice watch. It's like, guess how much I spent on this? Uh, $15,000? No, more like $15. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. He's in the fashion business? I had no idea he was in the fashion industry. What? This is a fucking lie! You were never in the fashion business! Swallowing hard now that I've got the smoking gun right here, which is, of course, the Fabergé cigarette case. The Fabergé cigarette case today for six hundred dollars. Boom! A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties and find out where and when, and then have the guests burgled. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much. God, that age, girl's having a conniption fit over there. <laughs> Like, there's an entire story going on in her head. Yeah, it's like they told her to just act shocked and just keep doing that, and... Well... Oh... You lying fuck. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglars. Uh, I had nothing to do with uh, Julia's uh, death. Uh, uh, why would uh, I uh, need to run? Hmm? Huh? Well, I'll tell you why you had to run. Because you had a train ticket! You're, you're fucking leaving to town tomorrow! To city tomorrow night? That it's a one-way ticket? Henry? Tell me it isn't true. I had no choice. Okay, it isn't true. Oh. Oh, it, it is I true. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. To pay Willie and oh, yeah, I mean, look at you. You're in the fashion broke. business. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> who is Henderson? So who is Mr. Is Henderson? Henderson? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. Ah, uh, truth. There is no Henderson. <sighs> Who's Heisenberg? Tell me Henderson. About your first burglary, and don't Heisenberg. If you know what I think you know, doubt lightly. Your first so yeah, we got a whole list of things you stole. Right here. Explain how he is involved, or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. So the guy who prescribed her the drugs that probably led to her to her Julie death her. was also banging her, probably. <laughs> Great. Well, at least wasn't banging her, but leading him on and all that shit. Henry Arnett, mm -hmm. you're under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson Ooh. is stolen, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for Ooh. convict stripes. <laughs> oh, harsh. <laughs> I do love how people who have obviously done something wrong, they say, you know you want the bigger fish, right? Well, yeah, you're still coming with us, though. Well, yeah, we gotta feed the kids, too. 
We need the big fish, and we need the little small fries that follow, you know, past it. We're gonna feast good tonight, and then store you in the freezer. Mmm, frozen leftovers. So, alright, I've got one last chance to really, uh, leave Roy in the dust. We're gonna go to Dr. Stoneman's office, talk to him about Henderson, and then put an end to this case. So, later, raw, man. Uh huh. Leave him in the dust, you say. Oh, God. Well, that's fine. Oh. You better hang on tight <laughs> then, Roy. He only robbed her mother and killed her best uh. friend. Cut the guy some slack. So, how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to Ooh. give you a Let's uh, go through some backyards, too. Gave you one hell of a okay. Tasting. Take the road a little uh, less traveled, you know? Ooh. Off the beaten yeah. path. Yeah. yeah. Next time you can take Get to see some of the lovely, you know, designs that an artist had to come up with. A 3D model artist said, you know what? I'm going to make this look exactly like L.A. Nobody's going to see it, but... All right, so we're just about here. But I was going to wreck it up a little bit more, just to spite him. But maybe I should worry about that ding. All, this, all these scratches, does it make you hurt, Roy? Does it make you hurt? Ah, there we go. God damn maniac! Kick down the door. Get down on the ground, you barbiturate! Conan the barbiturate. It's it's perfect. It's just too perfect. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. I get it. It's because he's in the fashion business. He's a fa he's a fashion <laughs> doctor. Uh. Oh, someone. Uh-oh, he's dead already! Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him <laughs> it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Somebody's playing bad cop, Doctor, and it worked. I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never wah, to wah, come wah, 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 the wah, truth, wah. Doctor. Looks like I got you red-handed, Doc. What were you trying to say there? I'm so glad you came. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? No, I didn't. I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? No. They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered him. So he just had a big old crush on Julia. She... Great. Never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. But wait, I'm a sympathetic person. Don't arrest me. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. I want to see no one. Not my wife or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. So he was thinking about having an affair with her, too. Sheesh. This is the first guy that's gone quietly. That fucking... I... Oh, Jesus! Not dead. That didn't kill me. Oh, in... It, Imaginable pain. Oh. 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 Roy, you probably shouldn't look out the window. People are going to think you pushed him. Anyway, I need to use the phone. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. I need an ambulance on the corner. Immediately. Fucking guy jumped out the window. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, man! Detective, you have a message. Oh my god, what happened? Cole Phelps There's can't take jump as well. <laughs> There's been a suicide! Somebody jumped from the building! Detective Bukowski says 
says to meet them there. There's a reference for you. Bible Noir. <laughs> we have an address Fuck. for the runner. Let's try All right. Let's wrap this case up. Where Minase goes around and he can either accuse, fuck, or sacrifice to the demons. <laughs> I hate that you can work with whatever I throw at you. I hate it. <laughs> that old boy really fell for that broad. She was incredible. She worked in the fashion industry. Did you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for I'm doing it right now, Roy. All right. So we've got... We've got to get Willie now. Willie is the last loose end in this case. So we've got <laughs> one final shot to leave Roy in the dust. Hello. All right. Hello, fellow officers. Excuse me. Can I get uh, through here? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. You know, if, if I'm thinking of the relationship that Randall, Arnett, and Willie all had, yeah, I'm starting it. to think we could... Oh, good job. Come on, Roy. Probably... Can you make it? Can you make it, Roy? Come on. Well, Oh, you're giving up so quickly? Oh, come on. Lighten up! Darwinism in motion. Darwinism in motion. <laughs> Not a care in the world. Or as I like to call it, Carwinism. <laughs> All right, let's 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 reenact of mice and uh, men. Tell me about the fashion. <laughs> she was real pretty, Cole. He's around here somewhere. A big Bang! Oh, I got a little dark. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. So Willie's been seen around here. A harmonica flying That's a weird one. Shh, do you hear it? Hello. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. Ooh, a harmonica. Your harmonica gave you away! Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up! Oh, oh, whoa. Well, yep, yep, yep. His harmonica turned into his handgun. Well, I guess we better go after him. Is that. Oh, wait, he didn't. Oh, he went up here. Oh, all right. Let me just shove my. Oh, Jesus! Let me just yeah, uh, yep, get yep. up in there, Roy. You know, just uh, yeah. Yeah, Roy knows the way. All right, he's going after the runner. He's being helpful for once. Well, he probably, uh, you know, finally realized that all those times he just kept insulting you, and then you finally left him in the dust a few times. I think he got the picture. Up in here. Come on, man, take him out. Get him. You go too slow, Roy. Out of the way. Come on, man, get him. Where'd he go? He's getting this... away. Oh. Up this pole, excuse me. He's getting away, man. Now, uh, there's another achievement attached to this. He's got to yeah. Around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. Where'd he go? There he is. Aha! Oh! Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, ah, here we go. No way. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Yep. There we go. Seriously? Yep. See, that's awesome. Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. Mm. I saw her she was beautiful and full of life. Subtle. And she was in the fashion industry. It looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. She could have grown up to be a barbiturate, whatever those are. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers <laughs> a drink. Do you now? Look, I already That's have to pay for my fifth you. car this month. Fuck you, Cole. Third car this week, actually.
Damn it! Eight million stories, though, and that's the end of that case. We've got all the clues, got all the questions right. Seventy-seven hundred dollars of vehicle damage. Three stars. All right, good job. The fast died young, setting one man to jail and three to the morgue. Sheesh. But hey, don't go away just yet, kids. We got a military flashback for you a all. Military flashback, the best. Oh yes. Nothing to really uh, send you home with a smile than a harrowing World War II memory. Hey Chuck, enough with the flute already! Pick up a gun and help us, won't ya? So many soldiers dying in the war. How could people do this to each other? Dead. Uh -huh. So Cole's like, you know, I think I'll just sit here until morning. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. Eek. Fucking hell. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? <clears throat> yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. Yeah. It's the beginning of the end. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? I'm a goddamn hero for Phelps. basically having wide eyed I'm nightmares you all the night. Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. God, even in the war, people were throwing promotions at him. I just got promoted. <coughs> See you next time on LA to War.